Hi, this is going to be as quick a video as I can make about moving the location of MSI files when you've got them assigned to group policy. In this example, I've got two group policies, uh, SyncToy and VLC player. The locations of the files are on a DFS server or just a, a server, and in this hypothetical example, I need to move them to a different server. Normally, the only way that you can do this is editing the MS, uh, the group policy, removing the application, and then adding the application again from the new location. However, doing that means that every computer across your estate will suddenly reinstall that bit of software, even if it already had it, which is very frustrating, especially if you have a lot of computers on Wi-Fi or you have very large MSI deployments. What I'm going to do now is to move these MSI files from the location where they're pointed to at the moment, which is in the DFS server installers directory, and move them onto an installers share on this server, which is called main DC. So let's move those files over now. So from the DFS server onto the installers folder on main DC. That's the MSI files moved. There's one document on Microsoft's website which tells you how to change the MSI file locations using uh, in the software deployment group policies. If you look at the date these days, Windows Server just changing using these instructions and as the edit is not enough there is another file called another file called the AAS file which I think is the application advertisement script or something very similar uh, file which you also need to change um, using a hex editor may work I've not given it a go but the way to do it uh, without a hex editor is the way I will show you now so the first thing to do is to look for the GUID of your software installation that you need to change the location of. In this instance, mine starts 9F9 and ends in CAE. So next is to go to your sysvol folder for your domain. So my one is labsetup.local, sysvol, labsetup, policies, and it was the 9F9 and ending in CAE. It's a machine policy, it's an application policy, and in here we have an AAS file. The next thing I'll also do, I'll leave that open, is fire up ADSI edit, ADSI edit, and dig through into my domain. If you're not connected to yours, so uh, Quite often you'll end up with a screen which looks like this. If you've never used ADSI edit, you'll get this and you just need to go action connect to and then leave the default, click OK. Uh, click on that, click on your domain, click on system, click on policies. And again, we need to find that 9F9 ending in CAE. It's a machine policy. The only thing that's in this list, class store, packages and uh, a, an entry here. You need to right click on that, go to properties in this list, find MSI file list, click on edit and click on the only entry which should be in the values section, click on remove. Up here you now need to modify where the file is so enter your new location. In my instance it's only changed server so the exact same path just the server has changed. So it's main DC. One thing you do need to do is remember to click on add. If you click on OK straight away, you will lose this and it won't get added to the values. Then when you try to edit your group policy file, it will have all sorts of errors. Um, just make sure you click on add before you click on OK. Then we can click on OK again. And I will close ADSI edit. The next thing you need to do, uh, so just doing that, which is what this Microsoft article says, is not enough. We now need to edit 
or not in this case edit, we want to generate a new AAS file. Easiest way to do this is to create a new group policy object, but not mapped or not linked to any of your organizational units because we don't we only need it very temporarily. So I'm going to click on group policy object, new, I'm going to call it AAA test. Click on it and get the unique ID. And while leaving your other folder open, load up another folder of that location. So lab setup.local sysvol lab setup policies. Now we need to find D80 ending in 892. D80892. Machine, and then there's nothing here at the moment. So I'm going to edit this group policy object, go to policies, software installation settings, new package. Now we need to use the new location, main DC, installers, sync toy, sync toy setup, and assign it. Now close this group policy editor, go back to our folder, and it's created an application folder, and what would you know? It's also created an AAS file. So that's the AAS file for the new application location. We can't just copy that into here. We need to take the name of the old AAS file, delete the old AAS file, or if you're cautious, rename it to something else or move it to a different folder move this AAS file, our temporary group policy AAS file, into the original location and rename it back to the previous file name that we just deleted. I'm going to repeat that again for my second bit of software. So the second bit of software which still points to the old server, so it still points to my DFS server which I'm going to switch off I need to move that one, so go to details. This group policy is 942 ending in A1F. So let's go back. 942 ending in A1F. It's a machine policy, application policy. There's the AAS file. I also need to open up ADSI edit again. Main system policies. Immediately forgotten what the, what the GUID was. Nine four two ending in A one F. Nine four two ending in A one F. It's machine class store packages. There's the package. Right click on it. Go to properties. Scroll down to MSI file list edit it, click on remove, change where your MSI is, make sure to click on add, then click OK, then click OK, we can close ADSI edit, and we need to, in our temporary test group policy folder, we need to regenerate the AAS file for the new location, so there's my test group policy, edit that, Policy software, delete sync toy because we you know it's a test, we don't need it anymore. New package VLC, VLC assigned. And back over in our application folder for our test group policy is my new AAS file generated at 3.17 pm, which is just a moment ago. Again Take the name of the proper group policy file, AAS file, and delete that file. Move over the newly generated AAS and rename it to the original name. I can now close all these folders. I can delete my temporary group policy object, don't need that anymore. And if I now look at and refresh the settings 
it's now pointing to the new server, the main DC server. If I have client computers, they'll now pick that up in the correct location. Uh, if you change just the ADSI edit bit, you'll probably see this bit has changed, but the client computer still won't deploy the software. It's that AAS file uh, in the sysfol folder, which is the important part as well. Uh, sorry, this is a very quick video and probably doesn't explain a lot. Hopefully it's enough to get you on your way. So just things to remember, ADSI edit MSI file section and also generate a new AAS file. Hopefully this video has helped. It would really help me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.